For this exercise, we are asking you to think about how duration impacts the meaning of an artwork. I'm going to talk you through the assignment sheet and show you some artworks that play with the idea of duration. We have also posted a PDF of the presentation and the assignment sheet for you to take a look at, as well as all elements of the assignment on UTC Learn. Make sure to look at the deadlines and let us know if you have questions. One note about this assignment, not all the artwork we are looking at is obviously drawing. Imagine how you can take these ideas and apply them to the act of drawing. How might time affect the meaning of drawing? How would the meaning of a drawing change if it took years to complete? How would the meaning of a drawing change if the body was exhausted in order to complete it? In this exercise, you will explore these questions and experiment with making time-based drawings in which the meaning is informed by the element of time and duration of the event of drawing. Here are our expectations for the exercise. Based on our presentation, select one project and write a 250 word reflection of this piece. What did you respond to and why? You'll post this to UTC Learn. Next, you'll decide to make a drawing that uses time as an element. Engage with this drawing for several hours, at least three hours you would spend in class, and execute this drawing for the next class period. Submit your drawing and a 250 word statement to UTC Learn. Our objectives are to introduce you to a history of durational performance and drawing practices, to explore time as an element of drawing, and to explore non-traditional and conceptually driven ways of mark making and producing drawing. The first artwork I want to share with you is by Tashing Hase, and it's a one year performance from 1981. Hase has used one year as a measure for many of his artworks. In this piece, he installed a time clock in his apartment and punched in every hour on the hour for an entire year. When he punched in, he took a single photograph of himself as well. At the beginning of the year, he shaved his head, and in the video documentation of the piece, you can see his hair grow out. You can also see him get more and more haggard as he is increasingly sleep deprived. Imagine the other impacts, which feel really timely. He can never be more than a half an hour from his home because he must be able to return to punch in. The second piece is a collaboration between Hesse and fellow artist Linda Montano. They connected themselves via an eight foot length of rope and spent the whole year connected. They said, quote, we will stay together for one year and never be alone. We will be in the same room at the same time when we are inside. We will be tied together at the waist with an eight foot rope. We will never touch each other during this year, end quote. While this is not a drawing per se, it is impossible not to see the length of rope as a line. Kate Bingham Burt is a graphic designer who from 2006 to 2014 drew every object she purchased. Here are a few examples. By committing to photographing every object that she purchased, you have to imagine she would slow down and consider what is worth buying and why. Thomas Albrecht is a performance artist who mined the daily news to keep track of deaths in the year 2006. As the country was in the midst of a war in Iraq and Afghanistan, Albrecht flattens the deaths of soldiers, famous people, Afghani and Iraqi citizens into a drawing. The deaths become formal choices that are imbued with meaning. Without contextual information, we are left wondering what the stories are for each death. The last piece I will share is Francis Elise's Sometimes Making Something Leads to Nothing. Elise pushes a block of ice through Mexico City in this video piece. He pushes the block until it fully melts, which takes him more than nine hours. When it begins, it is obviously challenging, both physically as he uses his whole body to push the ice, but also you can imagine it was physically painful because it was so cold. At the end, he casually kicks a tiny, tiny, tiny ball of ice. While we do not imagine you will spend nine hours on this project, if you do spend several hours, 
what we, will you make a monumental work of art or is it something that disappears when you are done completing the piece, leaving an imaginary line of where you have walked? I hope these examples have given you some ideas for your own projects. We look forward to seeing what you come up with. I've also put the links to the pieces we have video documentation for in the description of this video. Enjoy.